Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. Today we are going to be planning out the first full week of August. Crazy. <laughs> but before we get into all of that, I wanted to share with you my planner portfolio. I transferred all of my July stuff over and I thought it would be helpful to share that for those who are using the planner pieces system. You can also put add-ons and one month planners in the planner portfolio, but I've gotten a couple questions about how I organize everything so I thought I'd just go through it again real quick and then I'm gonna also share with you my current week I did not plan out the current week on camera so I wanted to show you that and then we will get into the actual plan with me so I did transfer everything out of my July folder so you'll see there is no longer a July folder here I like to just keep the current month in here once I transfer everything into my planner portfolio I do um, you know delete everything. So in my planner portfolio, I have it organized by month. And I think what I'm going to do for 2025, because I didn't use the memory keeping section I went through and I deleted this and I still need to do it on the dividers, but I think I'm going to start putting like a reading little section in there. I really, really, really want to get better about reading. I miss it and I just need to make time for it. That is the thing. I just need to set aside even just a half hour at the end of the night and then I can read. I just feel like reading helps my mental health so much and it's just something that I really love. So anyways, that's going to be a big goal for 2025. So I think that's what I'm going to do next year. But right now I just have my monthly calendar and my weeklies in each month. Memory keeping I do want to get better about, but I'm going to use the memory keeping add-on to do that. And I think I'm just going to memory keep like big trips and stuff in there because I do put photos in my weekly spreads and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm doing a little bit of memory keeping and just my day to day planning, but I want to do like full on scrapbooking, memory keeping type of deals for our big trips, vacations, you know, things like that. So anyways, I have my monthly calendar here. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to take me to my divider. And then if I swipe over, there is my monthly calendar for July. It's totally, or yeah, July. <laughs> it's totally updated and everything like that. So that's where I put the final version of the month is just right behind that divider. If I swipe over, then I've got all my weeklies and see, I still need to delete this text here, which I will do. It's okay to not use all three sections too, just FYI. You don't have to use all three sections, but I think that's, I've been kind of thinking about how I want to do like 2025 and what planner system I want to use and that kind of stuff. And so anyways, that's kind of where I'm at with that. But now we're at the weeklies. And so if I swipe over again, now we get into all my weekly spreads. And this is where I put all my final weeklies. So there's the 4th of July week. And then when I use the focus planner pieces, which I love how that turned out, our back to school week and as you can see I do memory keeping I put a couple photos usually in each week I just love doing that and I even do that in my monthly spread I'll put a couple photos so and then we have this final week here and then we just get into the memory keeping section that does not currently exist <laughs> so anyways that's how I do it I just kind of copy and paste all of my spreads and put them into my planner portfolio and it keeps it nice and organized and I think it's gonna be so so fun to flip through my whole planner portfolio at the end of the year so that's how I do it. Just wanted to share that with you. Next, I want to share my current weekly spread because I am obsessed. <laughs> this spread has made me so very happy. So I put some washi over here, but I had it run off the page and put August here at the top. I put a couple of my favorite pictures of my kids in there. And then we have lots of decoration. I like to put my events on my weekly spread, so I have that. I have my mood tracker, my husband's work schedule, which I do block out. And then today is new release day, actually, so I can check a lot of these things off, which I am gonna do. And by the way, you may hear my kids, they're playing like just right across in their bedroom. So just FYI, if you hear things, that's what's going on. <laughs> so. I am going to check all of these off because I took care of all of this this morning. I released some new meal planning products and you guys are loving it, which makes me so happy because they were very, very fun to design and put together. But yeah, then I have all my events and I put a Bible verse in and then I also 
off to the side put my weekly checklist and I like to just kind of pick things from this each day. A big focus this week is going to be designing all of the October kits, which is crazy. <laughs> so crazy. It's going to be a big um, focus just kind of getting those done and then I'll be working on actually getting November kits designed also this week. I'm trying to get ahead so that I can kind of free up my schedule. I did the same thing last year. I kind of bulk designed the rest of the year's kits around this time and that helped me so much just to be able to focus on you know 2025 planners and sticker kit reformats and just things like that so that's what i'm going to be working on this week but yeah i love how this came together i love these colors it's so pretty it's so so pretty so i wanted to go ahead and share my current weekly spread and then of course every monday i post my completed spreads in our facebook group and on instagram so if you ever want to see you know how the week ended up and everything you can definitely check out those different social media platforms all right and i have those linked below by the way so now we are going to get into planning out the week of August 5th, which I actually, where's my phone? My husband has a dentist appointment on Monday and I took a picture, I took a picture of the um, like little reminder card that they uh, gave him. There it is. So it's at 9.15. Okay, so I need to put that in here. So I'm ac actually going to go ahead and open up this real quick and we will grab a tooth. <laughs> so I'll do that. This little tooth here. Copy. Just put it right in here. 915 and I think I'm just going to use... Um, going to use just a dash here. Let me split screen so I can kind of see what I'm working with here. Maybe do green. Yes, we'll do green. I'm going to use that same rounded rectangle and kind of size it where I want. Put that up there and then take this tooth and arrange, bring to front. And then I will type in um, with, I've been really liking this before. I think it's called beneath your chalk or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a dash dentist at 9.15 a.m. And then we can put that in there, turn images off, resize, make it a little smaller, and there we go. So I wanted to put that in so I do not forget. I also have a doctor's appointment on the 22nd that I need to put in, but I'll do that in a little bit just so we can kind of get on with the <laughs> plan with me. So the first thing I need to do is pick out which kit I am going to use. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sweet Treat. I have been really dying to use this kit because it is so adorable. I love the little gummy bears and everything and the banana, which is funny, I just had a banana split cold brew and it is definitely a dessert coffee, but it is the most delicious. It's so good. It's from one of our local like coffee shops in the area, like a small business, uh, not a chain or anything. So, but they're family run, they're amazing. Um, but let me pick out my weekly spread and see what I want to do for that. And the planner portfolio, actually, I'm going to open up because I feel like I get a lot of inspiration just from looking at previous spreads. I was thinking about using the classic again, so I'm going to open this up and, um, I think I might go for the classic because... I really, really love how this turned out, and yeah, should we do it? Let's do it. It's been a while. <laughs> so now I'm going to go over to my dashboard library. I'm going to go down to my weeklies here. This is where I save all my planner pieces, and then I'm going to go to my classic, and what do I have on here? I'm going to go ahead and just 
erase this page and then I'm going to copy it. Actually, no, I'm, I'm used to doing the planner portfolio. That's not what I'm gonna do. I am going to duplicate it out here. Then it's gonna make a copy and then I'm going to move that into my 2024 August folder here. So that is what I'm gonna do. I often come into my dashboards and do like testing of products and stickers and just make sure things look okay and all of that. So if you see random stuff on some of them, that's why. <laughs> um, I, need, I need to remember to like clear them out and stuff. But anyways, so here we go. Now I am going to change the dates here to 8.05 to 8.05. Eleven, and we'll open that up and I've got this open over here okay so now we're all set to go so like I said I'm gonna kind of use this page for some inspiration of how to set things up so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is pick out some washi just like I did on this page I'm honestly really loving these two I think I'm gonna use these two down here so I'm just gonna move this over the duplicate tool is gonna make this much easier as well. So I'm going to just, I don't know if you guys can hear that. One of my kids is mooing like a cow. It's so funny. Okay, and then I'm going to copy, or actually just duplicate that. Then I don't have to hold down and paste, which is so nice. Then I can come in here. Oop, I need to turn images on. And line that up and then we're going to duplicate that and move that over here and then where it runs off on the page I can just use screenshot trick Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate that whole thing and put this up at the top. Okay, so I have those in and then I'm gonna use this really cute banana washi and we're going to put that over here and kind of do the same thing. Just duplicate it. and line this up as best I can. That looks good. And then we'll do that again, duplicate. And then I'm gonna use that same trick, take a screenshot, copy, and paste, and just cover that up right there. All right, and then we have that in. How stinking cute is that? So now I am going to go over to my months and days of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these over here. I can already tell, I am just going to love this spread. It's already looking so cute. So I like to do the Wednesday because Wednesday is sort of the largest one to cover up as far as the scripts are concerned. And then we're just gonna place these right on top. So let me just pull all of this over and put that up there. I can zoom in and kind of make sure they all are pretty even here in just a sec. So I'm gonna zoom in here and put that there, move this up a little bit. Maybe move that over a little. Move this up just a little. Oh, 
Okay. I love that. So then what I did over here is I put in the like little date dots um, underneath, but I think I might try to use the gummy bears. Um, I also really like using a pattern box um, like square over here. And I think I'm gonna use the pink. And then we can pull one of the August mini calendars over. I like having a mini calendar. Uh, for the most part on my spread. So I'm gonna do that. I love this one. It's got the little polka dots um, Nice and subtle really love it. And then I'm gonna go to my files here and find my 2025 or I'm sorry 2024 mini calendars. We're gonna use August Sunday start So I'm just going to size that to fit directly on top of here. That looks good. And then let's go to the date dots. And do I wanna use, do I wanna use the gummy bears or do I want to use like just the pink circles? Cause I really like the look of this with like the little circles underneath. I was going to put the gummy bears in between each one, but I'm worried that that's going to be, I don't know, let's just try the gummy bears because they're so cute. I <laughs> want to put them in. Oh, wrong ones. Let's see, we need the 5th through the 11th. And then I'm just going to, actually, I think these are going to be really cute. I think we're going to just try to use these. And that's a good size. So I'm going to just plop those right at the ends here. Oops. Okay, I love that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of tilt them too. So we'll just do this. Really cute, I love that. All right, and then let's go ahead and grab some widgets. I like the idea of doing a content schedule and a workout schedule. I've been really focusing a lot on that, and I may switch my Treat Yourself Thursday back to Tuesday. So that's something that's gonna happen because I think I wanna do something else on Thursdays. Um, I'm not going to really talk too much about that quite yet because it's all still just a work in progress, but. I want to open that day up. I'm trying to have just something every day that I'm posting, even if it's just an after the pen post or a sneak peek or something like that. I just want to be consistent with it, but I think the timing of the sale works better right before new releases versus right after new releases. So I'm gonna kind of switch those. I'm still gonna keep sneak peeks on Tuesdays and then Thursday will now be open for something else in the future. So um, yeah, so anyways, I've been kind of thinking a lot about all of that. I'm trying to get really streamlined and organized for 2025, just be more on top of things and have more of like, you know, streamlined uh, process for getting ready for things and planning products out in advance. I just need to do that in order to be able to maintain balance or some balance <laughs> in my life. I, yeah, I just, that's what I need to do. So anywho, let's go over to the widget shapes. And I liked what I did over here with just like the uh, blank one and the more decorative one. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing and pick a color that I wanna go with. I think I'm gonna go with the yellow. I think I'm gonna go with yellow first. And then 
Okay, I'm loving the like ice cream sundae, so I'm gonna need to bring that over for sure. And then we'll need to get some more blue in here because yeah, we need some blue. But now what I'm gonna do is I am going to size these. Oop, and jumped around on me. Kind of size these how I want and then space them apart. Okay, and then the beauty of this is that I can then come over here and just copy this widget. So that makes it nice and quick and easy. And we can paste that right in here. And then I can do the same thing right there. Did that copy, I think? And do a workout schedule. Because I am really working hard on getting really consistent with strength training and getting enough steps in and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put those in. That gives me a designated spot for tracking all of that. And then the one thing that I really loved that I did over here is I used the bottom section for weather, habits, a couple pictures, and then used like a, you know, a checklist for the day. And I just really love the functionality of the classic. I get so much on one page and I don't feel like it looks too busy, you know what I mean? So I really love that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to pick one of the rounded ones over here. Nothing wrong, by the way, you guys, with copying spreads you've already done. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna do this giant gummy bear one, because how cute is that? And then I'm going to go over to functional and get my arched habit tracker here. And I'm gonna use pink for that. Put that over here and I can't remember, yeah, I kind of had it slightly overlapping, which I really liked. Use pr uh, past spreads, you guys, that you've done in the past for inspiration. If you're running short on time or you're kind of rushed, I'm a little bit rushed to be honest just because uh, Andrew is working today so I need to make sure that I get this filmed. And then I wanted to film one more video but I don't think I'm gonna have time for that today, which is fine, I it's Wednesday so I still have time. Um, but I wanted to film next week's new release video and then I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to uh, film my budget video because nothing has happened with bills. Tomorrow's the 1st of August, so we should at least have some bills come out, but I feel like there's no point in doing a check-in <laughs> today because nothing has happened. So uh, let's see. And then I'm gonna come over to scrapbook and get a couple photo frames here. And I think I just used two squares. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, nothing wrong with that, you guys. Um, I'm gonna use this one here and I'll use a solid yellow one And then we can come over here and copy this weather forecast. I've been wanting to track the weather a little bit more because it is monsoon season and uh, we've just had more happening. So it's kind of fun to track it when we are, we're having a good monsoon season. I feel like it's been humid though, which I'm not used to, but that's the only thing that I would say I have not enjoyed is the humidity. But other than that, it's been pretty good. So I'm gonna copy that and paste. And then we'll zoom in here. But I don't know where Make that a little, I think that's good. And then
really hard to space these. I wish these plus and minus things did more, but they're kind of useless to be honest with you. That looks okay though. Okay, that works. So we'll do that and then of course I'm going to go ahead and grab a paper clip because I always love the look of that. Use this one here. That looks good. Okay, and then that takes care of that whole bottom section already, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to go over to the checklists and go ahead and set that up in a similar way too. I love the checklists. I like having one for each day too. I normally just do one big list for the week, but um, this will work out just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me make this a little smaller. That's good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line. You can use the ruler too, but honestly, I'm finding the pen tool to be much handier with this because the ruler moves like when you zoom in and all of that. So this will make this easy. And then I'm going to go to duplicate and put that in roughly the same spot. Maybe move this a little closer as well. And then duplicate. It's nice because we usually have a lot that we have to do on the weekend too in terms of like weekly reset type of stuff. And so, you know, we do meal prepping and just making sure the house is cleaned up and that we have everything we need for the school week in terms of, you know, science um, experiments primarily, just making sure we have all the supplies we need for that and that we're feeling prepared and ready to go. So that is helpful to have a list for that. I do a lot of my chores on the weekend because I just don't have time between work and homeschooling to get to chores much during the week. So that's helpful too. And then what I can do is I can come over here and copy a list and paste, and then we might need to change it a little bit, but for the most part it should work. Actually, that works just fine. So what I'll do is I'll make a list for the week and then I'll just copy it day to day probably. So we'll put the list in throughout the week, which will be helpful. Okay, so that is in. And then the last thing is really just, um, putting in events, but I'm gonna highlight, use my little color selector, use yellow, and we're gonna highlight the week up here. That's something I'll, I also really like to do, and I might actually come over to scrapbook again and grab a um, a paper clip. And actually, what I'm thinking is that I'll use, well, I'll just move that. I think I'm going to use this paper clip instead. I like the white on the pink. I think that's cute. And then I'm going to come up here and use this up here. And that's fine just like that. Okay, and then we have events. So I am going to go to my icons and we are going to pull a tooth over because my husband has a dentist appointment on Monday. So we'll need that. We also are going to need a trash can to mark trash day. And I'll probably, I'll actually use this yellow one here for that. Then we can do new releases. 
products. There will be new releases. The To Done products are going to be released this upcoming Wednesday, so that'll be fun. I love the theme and I cannot wait <laughs> to finally reveal it to you all. It, I'm dying to use it myself. The color scheme is just kind of unique and I, yeah, I just love it. And then we have Bible study, so I'm gonna pull the Bible over. That's gonna be on Thursday. We have Andrew's work schedule. We have piano. <laughs> Very busy these days, let me tell ya. So we can pull the music symbols over for piano. And then we also have Spanish. And I'm gonna use this one here for Spanish. And I think that's pretty much all we have going on all we have going on. <laughs> oh, we are leaving though for our trip on Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in as well. My sister is gonna be coming to stay at the house and watch our puppies, which will be nice. They love her, they're like, especially Kara. She gets so excited when <laughs> my sister comes over. So they get very spoiled when my sister comes over because yeah, she can't help herself. <laughs> okay, so I think that is good. That is a lot, not gonna lie, that is a lot. So let's go ahead and start with piano and Spanish, all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna use, um, let's see, what color do I wanna use? Maybe blue, well no, those are blue. Maybe yellow. I'm going to use yellow. Yellow is actually Maddie's favorite color, so that works. So we're just going to bring those over to put piano in and Spanish. I'm going to arrange, bring the music symbols to the front, and then I'm going to duplicate and this needs to be moved down here because it's actually um, Spanish is before piano. Then arrange into front. And then for the dentist appointment, I might actually use a brush stroke. Why not, eh? Let's see. I'll use green for church. So I'm going to use blue. for the dentist appointment. Oop. And arrange, bring to front. Pull that over. And then for trash day, I'm just gonna put that, oh, and I wanna do my mood tracker too, actually. So I'm gonna put trash over here and um, Let's see, I'm gonna need to pull up another spread for trash day. So we'll do this one. Put trash day in, if it'll let me. <laughs> that keeps wanting to highlight. There we go. Okay, that's where the duplicate feature honestly comes in handy. And then we have new releases, so I'm gonna go with my normal little flag here. And I'm gonna grab the green for that. And then bring the stickers to the front. and copy over the new releases. Mm, it was easier that time. It just is finicky. Sometimes it pays over just fine and then sometimes it gives me trouble. It's really kind of random, so. And then I'm gonna do my usual, I'm gonna get the checklist here with the solid colors and put my checklist for new releases. That just really comes in handy. I It's kind of lather, rinse, repeat at this point. I've done it so much, but it is very helpful still to just have that. And you just feel accomplished, you know, checking things off. Like 
sometimes it's fine to kind of keep doing what you're doing and if there's you know things that you've already done like making it to done list type of deal I feel like those things are just kind of fun sometimes because you do you feel accomplished I don't know if any of that that I just said made sense but <laughs> we'll put that in and then Thursday we'll have Bible study as well let's go ahead and start putting in some script here so I am just gonna turn images off and then I'm gonna copy all of that text there and bring that over because that is just nice and easy and then I'm going to change the color on this to black move that down move that down and make that a little smaller that's good and maybe make this a little smaller move this over and center that a little bit better and I think these need to be a little bit smaller too okay so that's all good and I'm gonna kind of pull this up because that's at the start of the day and then this is all middle sort of end of day type of deal so and what I can do now is I can duplicate that and bring that on over to Thursday. And then we'll put Bible study in as well. For that, I'm going to use a dashed oval. And I'm gonna go with pink. trying to think of what I can update you guys on there's not a whole ton of updates to be honest we've just been doing the usual stuff um, oh one thing that is happening pretty soon we're starting to look into the PGA program for Andrew I think he's gonna start working on that in January is what we're thinking and it's not near as expensive as we thought. The one thing that may be expensive is that he might have to travel for testing and stuff like that. So if that's the case, then actually um, we're gonna have to pay for that. But yeah, so he's gonna start that. And I'm trying to not like stress too much already because it's going to take him probably two to three years, I think, um, if I remember correctly, to get through the PGA program. But there is a chance that we would have to move out of state or move to a different part of Arizona um, f once he is ready to start like moving up and all that, which is fine. I can move with my job, obviously, but um, I did not picture us moving from this house. So I'm trying to like mentally prepare for that possibility, even though it may be a couple years down the road, because I think, I don't know, I really pictured us just living in this house until our kids were grown and, you know, and then downsizing once they move out, obviously like getting into a smaller house because we're not gonna need as big of a house later on. But I, yeah, I, I just, didn't picture moving so but that is a very real possibility and that is already like creating anxiety in me even though like I it's just you know <laughs> I need to not let my mind wander to those places because who knows what's gonna happen right but I love our church I love our community I just I'm so grateful to be where we're at not that we couldn't recreate that elsewhere but I yeah I support him though and his career path and whatever that's going to entail so we shall see. Thankfully there are a lot of golf courses in Arizona so we'll see what happens but that's something that may be a possibility in the future that I did not really anticipate being part of the deal but that's okay. Like I said I support him and his career. I'm very proud of him and excited for him that we're at a place where we're really focusing on his career. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on there. 
Okay, and then we have Andrew's work schedule, which I'm thinking, let's see, how do I wanna put that in? Do I wanna put that maybe on the bottom here, like next to the mood tracker? Or I could do, instead of content schedule, why don't I just put Andrew's work schedule in here? Let me go to my widgets. They are down here, widget inserts, vertical, black script, and I believe there's a work schedule in here for Monday start. So I'm just gonna pull that over and then that way I can put Andrew's work hours in. How awesome is that? That will work out very nicely. And then I still want to use this little cute golf doodad, so I'm just gonna kind of put this down in the quarter. I love that. That's nice because it kind of doesn't, you know, it doesn't take up a ton of space in the event section, if you will. All right, and then we are going to grab a brush stroke and I'm gonna do the green. And we'll put church in. That'll be happening on Saturday evening. And then I'm going to hit arrange, bring to front. See, I think that's the only like super new thing that's happening is just preparing for all of that. But everything else has been the usual, so. And then turn images off and I'm gonna copy this over. I need to, I feel like it pastes better when you zoom out, but move that over here. Okay, so church is in, and then, like I said, we're leaving for our trip. So do one of the pattern circles here, and think, or I could do a scallop. Yeah, let's do the scalloped one. Pull this on over, and then we can do Ooh, you know what would be cute? Let's see here. Range, send to back. Let's go to icons. I think I'm gonna put the little road in here too. And then hit arrange, bring to front. Ooh, loving this, loving this. And then I can come over here to the 11th and copy this, paste, and easy peasy. And I think that looks so cute. So now I'm going to resize this, make it just a smidge bigger. And that'll be our main thing happening on Sunday. So that takes care of all of the events that are happening for the most part. Oh, we need to put, here, let me try to center this more and then I'm gonna draw a line and move this down here and then move these on up and we'll delete whoops not duplicate <laughs> we'll delete those okay let's open up my arrows here and pick an arrow to go with I'm gonna try this one. Okay, 
love that. Very cute. Sorry if you guys can hear my dogs barking. I have no idea what they're barking at. <laughs> Um, so we have that in and then let's go to functional and go to mood up here and I'll paste the mood wheel down here. And I'm actually going to need to probably move this up more. We'll do that same thing. I'm going to draw a line and that down and then we'll just move this up. It doesn't have to be lined up, but I don't know. I like it when it is. <laughs> so, all right. And then we're going to duplicate the mood wheel. So one thing that I loved that I did in this spread too, let me close out a few things so I don't like confuse myself because that definitely happens. I loved um, putting in the transparent deco and stuff. So I want to do that in the checklist area. I just really love how that looks. But let's go ahead and um, check out some deco now. So this is where it gets really fun. We're able to jazz it up, if you will. So. Let's see, okay, I love the girl like sitting there, so I know I wanna use that in some way. I've been really loving putting Bible verses in, so I think I wanna do the same thing and maybe just pull this whole, well actually, I use the pink gummy bear for the date dots, so we'll find some different deco for that, but I can put a Bible verse right there and we can do like a little sweet treat um, even just these ice cream cones would be really cute and the sprinkles. I love that. So we can kind of put that here and then I'll put a Bible verse in and then I can put her up here. Let's see though. I don't know if I want to use... Okay, I love that, but it's gonna cut into my checklist. So, I could do transparent. Maybe I'll do a transparent one. We'll see. Okay, we can put a quote right there though. Could do sweet summer vibes. And then we'll go over to the transparent deco here. Okay, I'm gonna move this over and then I can crop it and put that over here. I like how it like peeks out a little bit, you know? So we'll do that and then what else, what else? Maybe do, actually, let's do this a little smaller. And then I'm going to pull this girl over and do that. I love this little scene, so I'm going to put this in just right here at the top. That's adorable. And we can put... Maybe put this little Sunday on top of the picture frame here. I love this little pretzel, so I'm gonna move the pretzel in, put that just a little touch like right there kind of randomly. Okay, and I think that is going to be it. So here is the completed spread. Again, I love the classic layout. I feel like you're able to fit so much on just one page. So I have my mini calendar, Andrew's work schedule, my workout schedule, and then all of our events on the top, my checklist in the middle here, and then a couple of pictures, habits, 
weather forecast. I'm probably going to change some of these habits here, but I'll do that off camera. I'm gonna like fill everything in off camera, but you guys will see like, you know, an update on this spread during the next plan with me. And then I'll post the completed one on Instagram and in our Facebook group and everything. But I love how this turned out. I love it so much. Oh, I've been dying to use this kit, so I hope you enjoyed watching this plan with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all of my future videos. And thank you so much to all of you who were able to join for the live chat today. It's always so much fun being able to hang out with you guys. And if you weren't able to join, definitely try to do so if you're able to. Um, we get together at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do this video as a live premiere so that I can be online just being able to you know talk to you guys and everything it's just fun being able to connect in that way so if you're able to join us 8 a.m pacific standard time every saturday that's when this video goes up and when i'm online for usually 45 minutes to an hour somewhere around there and it's a great time to put in prod product requests to answer questions you know anything like that so um but yeah that's it for this one i hope you are all having a fantastic weekend if you planned along with me today and you are in our facebook group definitely share Share your spreads if you're comfortable doing so in our Facebook group or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you put together. And yeah, that's it for this one. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye.